I don't know if you're like me, um, but you and you found that um, sometimes your context menu gets so long that it goes right off the screen and you can't get down to the properties and you have to scroll down to proper properties to be able to see it. And you get all these kind of weird things in your context menu that you really might not have any interest in ever using. Um, for example, print with directory print. I don't, I don't, I don't just don't want to do that in the context menu or, or even Dropbox. I don't use that there. Um, so really, um, this is a big issue and basically um, you, you can use the registry editor but that's kind of very dodgy and it's easier to add things than to remove them. Removing them is a bit of a nightmare. Um, so what I've come across is this amazing little app called Easy Context Menu. And really what you can do is you can add, well it gives you a list of the things that you can add off the bat um, over here, um, which is pretty cool. All these different system tools, things that you can't usually find. Uh, shut down and hibernate and whatever else you want to do, but on a right mouse click, which is pretty nice. Then the two other main functions are either to remove stuff, which is done by the context menu cleaner, or to add stuff, which is the list editor. If you've got a list editor, it, tell, it shows you all the stuff that's, um, that's there already. Um, and what you can do is add something. So say for example, I wanted to add you know, this is the app that I'm actually showing you, Easy Context Menu. If I wanted to add that to the context menu, I go, just click on it and say, um, well, it's gone off screen here, so go to, go to Open. And that adds it over there. You see it over here? It's now in the list of, of, um, of items. I can move it up, move it down. I can change its position. If I save changes and I close it, and then I go to here, it's on this list over here. So I've created it on this list over here, but I have to still add it so I go like that, add it there, and I think I have to go over here, apply changes. And now if I right mouse click here, I've got easy context menu right there. So if I close this and right mouse click and I go easy context menu, it pops up again. So it's actually now on my right hand, my right menu. And what I kind of find most useful was to try and get rid of all the stuff I didn't need. So I went to the, the uh, cleaner, and the cleaner takes you to this interface here where you can actually see the registry path of where that 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 thing is. Um, so if you wanted to do it on your registry, you could. Uh, but then you just simply uh, deselect the ones you don't want to see anymore. Uh, so I've got a whole bunch of things I didn't want to see, like Dropbox, and um, and you can also it's also broken up into desktop or drive or directory or file or folder. Um, so that's kind of useful. You can decide you want to see that context menu only when you right mouse clicking on a file or or only on a folder, or whatever. Um, so it's really, really useful. Um, and once you've done that, you just close that and uh, apply changes. And then you've got a nice, um, much more trimmed down right mouse click, which which doesn't sort of hog up all your all your space. Um, that one's got a bit more, but it's, it's it fits quite nicely. I can see the whole thing. And that's pretty cool. Um, so this little app over here, this one here, Easy Context Menu, which I've now got over here, in case I want to customize something while I'm fiddling around is just superb and it's free. Get it.